My name is James Ambani. Uh, you are in Loropio, Trukana County. We are right next to Lake Trukana where we source uh, fish and uh, we do fish processing here. We cut the fish and uh, we make fillet. And apart from fillet, we generate lots of waste, which we are doing some value addition to make other products out of it. Our value Villages is an organization that has uh, come about by a partnership of uh, two other organizations. Uh, initially, we started off as Victorian Foods. And uh, as we started off, we we started off in Lake Victoria and we started processing fish and we saw a lot of opportunity here in Lake Trukana. So we came together and we got some funding again through other partners like USAID who came to us and uh, 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 provided some equipment for us to do our production of uh, chicken feeds. And uh, through um, Ninfenberg Foundation, we partnered with uh, Ludwig Bayern, uh, who is also a co-founder of Value Villages and we decided to call the organization Value Village Food and Leather because apart from the food, you're also producing uh, fish leather, fish skin, we turn it into leather, uh, which makes it very interesting. It all starts with fish. So we, we process the fish first. By processing, I mean we get a, a whole fish that we, you know, our suppliers are the fishermen. We work with fishermen across the lake. Once they bring in the whole fish, we cut it. We separate the meat. We separate the skin and we are left with uh, just the head and the frame, the head and the viscera. Once we have that, we remove whatever is going to be consumed uh, for, for food, for the human consumption, basically that's a fillet. Uh, the skin we also um, separate it in terms of what can we turn into leather and what can we take into the animal feed production. So we don't want punctures on our skins if it's going to, into leather production because you want a good quality leather. So whatever doesn't make it goes into feeds. So that's how we utilize the waste. Then the head and the viscera, we dry the bones uh, just using the solar, I mean just uh, natural, uh, the sun. We dry the bones and then we treat it again. We take it through a process of steaming, like we pre-cook it, and then we crush it now using the machines. Kila biomuyo itajengeo cold store, wawo watakuwa na supply highs. Waweke hapo, sisi tunasanya samaki yetu, ikifiwa kiwango. Si, wanakuja kuchukua hiyo samaki wanalipo hapo wanaleta kwa factory kuliko sisi kubeba hata piece ndogo moja tunaleta paka sehemu ya Kalimapu ambayo ni transport pia wao wanataka kufanya kazi yetu iwe pia rahisi wanatuwekea samaki hapo we've got fishermen who are very happy because they have a ready market for their product we are targeting about 2000 fishermen across the lake right now we started small uh, we are starting with a few fishermen first, but as the project grows, definitely want to enroll as many fishermen into this program as possible. So far, we've employed uh, 42 people in the processing facility, um, starting from the filleters, uh, professional skilled workers, filleters, skinners, trimmers. Uh, we have packers, we have uh, people who wash the skin. Uh, this has created a lot of employment in this little village of Loropio. And, uh, you know, it's not limited to Loropio. It's, Whoever has the skill, whoever really feels like they want to learn something about fish processing, uh, we do it here. Apart from that also, we are starting an apprenticeship program where we are looking at youth in the community. Uh, most of them come to the factory and they tell me, well, we want to, to do cleaning. And I look at some of these young men and I'm like, for how long in your life are you going to be cleaning fish? I want you to get a skill. So we started an apprenticeship program where we, we have one or two youth who come and they you know, they just uh, stand together with the, the skilled workers and they learn what they are doing. And we give them an opportunity. And we pay them a little stipend for coming to the factory. Once they acquire the skill, we want to have a few trained. After six months, we graduate them and then we employ them. So that with time, as we grow, we employ more of the locals. One of the things that we are looking at is uh, how this is going to integrate with agribusiness as well. So agribusiness, we are looking at with starting with poultry feeds. And uh, so as we get the funding, we intend to, to buy the ingredients for the poultry feeds. And that is uh, the raw materials like the maize, the sunflower, pollard, uh, you know, the ingredients that we're going to mix with the fish meal. Uh, once we get that rolling, we hope that uh, there are so many NGOs here who have tried to start uh, chicken projects for women, especially, and youth, and uh, they've not been able to take off. And the reason is it's, it's been very hard to get uh, feeds from uh, Kitale to here. The price goes up, which makes it uh, not a very profitable venture. 
So if we expand, we expect to increase our production, uh, increase the, 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 the number of farmers who are willing to engage in poultry farming and therefore employ more people.